There are just six days until Election Day. This is the third time former President Donald Trump will be on the ballot as the Republican nominee for president. So far, Vice President Kamala Harris leads in the polls in Minnesota. But as Caroline Cummings reports, Trump's candidacy has transformed the Minnesota political map. There was a steady flow of people voting early in Chaska on Wednesday. Voters clear-eyed about what matters to them. Yeah, definitely protecting our reproductive um, rights and freedoms. My economy. I, I want to get I want to get back to what it was like four years ago. Six days before Election Day, the race for president nationwide, neck and neck between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Aside from the, her good points, she hasn't been convicted of 34 counts of uh, criminal counts. I don't think as a human being he has a great personality, but I like the issues and I like what he stands for. No Republican has won Minnesota for president since 1972, but in 2016, former President Donald Trump narrowly lost by 1.5 points. In 2020, President Biden won by seven, but polling averages have Vice President Kamala Harris somewhere in between. His first campaign, Trump transformed the map, flipping some counties that voted for Barack Obama in 2012 red. In 2020, it looked similar, though Democrats won back some of the counties they lost four years before. In Minnesota, Donald Trump and his campaigns coincided with a very sharp partisan regional polarization. We didn't see it as sharply uh, before Donald Trump. Now we see it in red and blue. But it's the suburbs, political scientist Larry Jacobs says, that will remain the key battlegrounds. In the Twin Cities metro, places like Dakota County tinted more blue in 2020, while Carver County, the margin for Trump, wasn't as high the second time around. The urban areas have become much more blue and democratic, uh, whereas the um, greater Minnesota has become much more red. The, the suburban areas have been um, areas where we've seen a kind of a ongoing set of shifts. Caroline Cummings, WCCO News.